Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back with another video. In this video, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing another reaction video, you guys. This reaction video is gonna be Nuke's top five scary ghost videos, which is called top five ghost videos to scare your inner demons, man. So we're gonna see, you know, what's up with this video, man. If it's too scary, if it's not too scary, and it's by Nuke's top five. He's really good. All right, you guys, so, man, so we're going to react to this video, you guys, and do not forget to subscribe, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, all right? So let's get into it, all right? Okay. Ooh. All right, let me see my volume. Top five ghosts oh, okay, caught on camera. The Lighthouse Keeper. If you're one of the very few people who have never watched BuzzFeed Unsolved on YouTube, the series can basically be summarized like this. It's sort of a ghost hunting show, but not a typical one. The show has two hosts, Ryan and Shane. Now Shane before. is a diehard skeptic of the paranormal. Anytime there's like any chance of sort of any kind of mechanical failure or just doors in general, people are always like, well, the door opens, so that's ghost. I don't want to argue with you on this. If you're really, if you find it compelling, that's, I'm happy for I you. I do find it compelling. Yeah, well, great. I'm happy, I'm happy for me too. Good. And All then right. there's Ryan, who is the polar opposite. It might even be just a bit too scared of the supernatural. He, he Do not be afraid. Okay. Do not be afraid. In each episode, the two hosts visit allegedly haunted places and investigate to search for real paranormal evidence. This week on BuzzFeed Unsolved, we investigate St. Augustine Lighthouse hmm. as part of our ongoing investigation into the question, are ghosts real? No. In this episode, they no? are investigating yes. the notoriously haunted St. Augustine Lighthouse in Florida. The lighthouse was completed in 1874 and mm. has seen its fair share of tragedy over the nearly 200 years that it has been guiding sailors home wow. from the sea. BuzzFeed Unsolved hosts Ryan and Shane begin their investigation at the historic Lightkeeper's house, which is oh, right wow. beside the lighthouse. People say that they have heard the endless and painful coughing of the spirit of a man named oh, William what? Harn. He was the very first keeper of the lighthouse back in the 1800s. Harn tragically passed away inside the house of malaria and the lung disease tuberculosis. When they mm. try to reach out to the spirit of William, the two friends capture something truly bizarre. All right, all right let's see what they capture. All right, now. we're gonna give you some silence here, William. If there's anything you'd like to say to us, mm. maybe a message you wish you could have communicated before you left Earth. Huh. I'm gonna sit in one of these little tiny chairs and make me look like you. I don't hear anything, so... Let's I'm gonna give see. you some silence right now. Hmm. Hmm. It's not a knocking noise, but... but Ryan cough. and Shane captured the unexplained sound of someone coughing, just like guests claim to have heard in the past. Hmm. Could this be the spirit of William who died of tuberculosis? Wow. Next, Ryan and Shane finally enter the actual lighthouse, which is said to be a hotbed of paranormal activity. The best ghost evidence of all time, in my opinion, or at least some of it, has been caught right here in this little rotunda. I mean, they caught an apparition full out, just mm. peeking over the railing. It is said that paranormal investigators always have an experience in the lighthouse when they are alone. So to test this theory, both Ryan and Shane will be locked inside separately to investigate. Hmm. Shane heads in first for his solo investigation, but he doesn't really experience much. All right, so I'm going in there, I'm going to the top. Yeah. And I'm coming back down. <laughs> yeah, that's the what you do on a staircase. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> this is high time for a ghoul to come out and spook me. So far, no ghouls. This is allegedly the site of a lot of FBAs or full-bodied apparitions. I feel nothing. I really don't. I don't get any vibes. I haven't felt anything strange all night. All right, see you later, dudes. Next, it's Ryan's turn. And now, before we proceed, it should be noted here that during the building of the lighthouse, a young girl named Eliza tragically lost her life while playing at the construction site. Wow. Visitors have reported seeing a young girl in a red dress inside the lighthouse who just faded away into thin air just right like before that. their eyes. Wow. Everyone who's gone in there has seen something for the most part if so, they've gone by themselves. But his buddy you know hasn't. I'm eager to add my name to that roster. Bye. So his friend still hasn't? 
So his friend is the non-believer. So he's not been experiencing enough ghost activity lately. But his other friend does. What? This other guy should experience that same thing as his other friend is, is experiencing, right? Because they're both together always. But there's like, they're always separated. Come on, man. Be together so the other guy could believe. There are real ghosts, you guys. It's real. Let's get back. She's very really strange, man. You know? He experiences it. Is there anybody in here with me right now? My name is Brian. Is the music playing? What? Can you say my name back to me? Oh my god, I just heard Eliza. Oh my god. Wow. Eliza? Mm. Why do you sound like that? Oh my god, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. <laughs> uh, here you hear me? I do hear you. Oh my god, it just hard to hear me. I got the chills. Why are you leaving? <laughs> Why am I leaving? What the f is that what you just say? I'm not scared, that's why. <laughs> Sayonara, you had your chance. Oh man. Why are you leaving? Turn off your radio. Because it's effing scary, that's why. Did you? I you said, are wet. I said, who's up here? What's your name? And it just so clear, just Eliza. Mm. Ryan is freaked out as he gets some very weird direct responses on his spirit box. One of the answers being Eliza, the name of the child that passed away at the lighthouse. Oh. Now Shane, on the other hand, didn't capture anything and is completely unimpressed with the whole location. But after the video is uploaded to YouTube, many viewers pointed out that skeptical Shane might have actually caught the most compelling and absolutely chilling evidence of all. Wait a minute, I didn't see anything. This is high time for a ghoul to come out and spook me. So far, no ghouls. Did you see it? Mm -mm. Watch again. That was too quick. This is high time for a ghoul to come out and spook me. Under the stairs, so under far, the no stairs, ghouls. right here, under the a stairs. A dark figure of a man can be seen standing at the bottom of the lighthouse. When the footage is brightened, the man has no distinguishable features and looks oh. more like a black mass than a person. Oh. Now, Shane was completely alone inside the lighthouse when he filmed. So just who right there. or what is this? Could it be the ghost oh, of one crap. of the many deceased keepers who are said to haunt the lighthouse? I didn't even see You decide. Him. Stop. All right, see you later, dudes. The final night. Alexander Labuzov from Russia says that he's been living in the same apartment for over three years when suddenly and inexplicably, strange paranormal things began to happen around his home. Loud, unexplained noises would wake him up in the middle of the night. Things around the house would move on oh, their own. No. And scariest of all, hey, look at that TV, one night man. when he was in bed, sound asleep, Someone or something suddenly grabbed onto his wrist, squeezing hard. He jerked his arm away and lurched out of bed, searching his room. But there was no one there. He says that the paranormal activity in his apartment just increased over time, until eventually he decided to just move out. So Alex is set to move out of his apartment the next day, but he decides to try to record the strange supernatural activity one last time. This video was meant to be Alex's last night in his apartment. First, he sits in front of his camera and explains what's been going on in his apartment. As he's talking, he hears something strange. Hmm. Some scary paranormal activity going on in his house. This is worse than, than the Ryan one. Oh, oh. Oh, no. And, and he's by himself, too, right? Man, how could he, how could he live? There's so many ghosts in the house. What the heck? Звук. Изредка я услышал, ну, 
похож. Something moves somewhere in the apartment, and Alex believes it might have been the kitchen cabinet door. He decides to set up his camera in his bedroom and leaves for two hours to meet up with a friend. Hello? Да, 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 сейчас приеду, ага. Давай, давай, давай. So he just Alex turns off the light and leaves. But what happens while he's gone is truly bizarre. Hmm. Hope nothing too crazy happens. Just slowly closing. Why do I have a feeling there's gonna be somebody behind the freaking door? Is there somebody behind the door? Nope. Oh man. Oh hell no. Keeps closing back and forth. Mm -mm. Ooh, that chair just moved. What the heck, man? That happens, yo. After I see the video, yo, when I come back, I mean, whoa, I'm out of here, man. I'm moving out. I don't care what anybody else says. I'm out. Dude, just moving that, man. You know, I, I don't know if that's a chair. Oh, he returns. Hmm. But yo, I didn't move this. Oh, the chair, okay. That was the chair. Just wait on TV, review his videos, he'll be like, what the heck? Alex returns home and just goes to bed. The next day, he discovers that his landlord is unavailable to pick up his apartment keys. Mm -hmm. And after reviewing his footage, Alex is unsatisfied with the potato quality video he has recorded in his dark apartment. So, he decides to stay one more night. This time leaving the camera recording, but with the lights on. Just like the night before, he again leaves to meet up with a friend. The camera captures something downright creepy. I literally thought that he was gonna stay there until, or sleep at the night or something. Until, whoa. That chair just moved. This is crazy, man. Oh, hell no, man. It's just so creepy, you know? You're just like, you know, like, you know what's that? Like, you come back from hanging out with your friends and then you see this happening. Oh. What the hell is that? Is that a cable moving? Right there, what is that? Oh, it, it is a cable. It's moving. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, I imagine there's something under the bed right there. Oh, hell no, man. What if he sees, like, a hand coming out from that? Ooh, no. Ooh, that gave me the chills. Ooh, no, no. No, no, no. Hell no. Just, it's just crazy, dude. Like, about boost four times. A giggle? Oh, hell no. Did just, just, where did that came from? What, did that came from the cabinet? Oh, it did. Oh, wow. What's the ghost trying to do? Trying to cook something? Oh. Alex is shocked when he comes home as he discovers that his camera has somehow flipped upside down all on its own. He grabs the it camera moved. and begins to film his thoughts on the strange situation. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. I Это был последний день, поэтому мы уже... Блядь! 
до усрачки. He saw something. Behind him. What was that? What? Это можно вообще. What was that? I saw something right here. Like a little figure. О, блядь. You saw that? Так. A pair of legs can be seen standing right behind Alex in the doorway. The legs appear to have no torso and disappear before Alex can even turn around. So, did Alex capture proof of the paranormal in his apartment? Or is it illusion? I leave it up to you to decide. You guys see that, man? There's... He, this guy, I knew he saw something. I thought it was like uh, somebody wearing like a cape or something. But dude, it's a half leg. He's like, hey man, can I move in? Like, why is there a ghost, a half ghost on the doorway? And they literally just move for like a second. Just a second, like a freaking second. Can you see that? Dude, man, that's insane, bro. Viewer videos. Mm -hmm. Ethan Budzinski was on a family vacation in the Pocono Mountains of Pennsylvania when strange things began to happen in his rented Airbnb home. Late one night, Ethan and his family hear the sound of a baby crying from somewhere in the house. Now Ethan's two young nephews are asleep in bed upstairs, so he immediately runs up to check on them, only to find that they are both quietly asleep in bed. That's crazy. This occurs several times. Ethan hears crying, then goes upstairs to find the children quietly asleep. So the next time Ethan hears the crying, he pulls out his phone and starts recording. So they hear a baby crying in the middle of the night. Let's see. Ooh. I hear that too. I hear that too. Also, they just went up there. He was sound asleep. Okay, that's what I heard. So she heard it too, and he heard it too as well. What the heck, dude? Did she not go to sleep? Did you hear a ghost being crying? And the kids are asleep. Right? Yeah. The eerie sound of a child crying can indeed be heard coming from somewhere upstairs. Both Ethan and a family member hear the sound, but when he heads upstairs to check, just like before, the children are fast asleep and not making a sound. So just where is this strange, unexplained crying coming from? I do hear it very loud and clear, man. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Dude, I just have a British no news stop by viewer who wishes to remain in Listen, that baby crying. Imagine you trying to fall asleep, you know, then you finally put your kids to sleep and then you hear a freaking baby crying. You're like, dude, I, I'm just cannot, I cannot put up with this, man. Like, how is there a freaking ghost baby crying? Where's the ghost mother at? Trying to take care of the baby, right? This is crazy, man. This is crazy. And you could hear it loud and clear. But we're gonna see like more crazy videos, man. I gotta say that's gotta be the craziest one, man. A baby ghost baby crying in the middle of the freaking night. This is crazy, bro. Let's get back to the video, you guys. Make sure if you guys enjoy this video, man. Stay in tune. Anonymous, we'll call her Jen, says that she had a chilling experience that okay. wasn't paranormal, but was terrifying nonetheless. And as I've personally always said on this channel, Real people can be much scarier than anything supernatural. So late one night around midnight, Jen starts receiving messages from a guy on Facebook. At first she plays along, but the messages from the stranger just get creepier and creepier. I'll correct some of the typos and slang and save you from listening to me doing a terrible British accent, but what you see on screen are the actual messages. So at one point, the guy suddenly writes, well, 
since you are up, uh, can I come and meet you then? Yes, I am mental. I'm on my way down to your house. I'll ring when I'm outside. Okay. Thinking he's joking, Jen laughs it off, writing back, You don't even know where I live. And then the guy starts trying to creepily call her on Facebook, because it turns out that he does actually know exactly where she lives. He uh -oh. types, You live next to my granny's house on the corner. Then he continues to call her, what? and things go from bad to worse, because he actually shows up right in front of her house. Ooh. Oh, and there's an actual video of it too. Did you see it? Don't make me knock, please. He messages. I'm outside the center window right now. Jen is now understandably completely freaked out. Wow. She tells the guy that she is not coming out under any circumstances. But he won't take no for an answer. Is that your window at the front? How do I get in your back garden? Jen replies, you don't, and ends the conversation. But it did not end there. Jen says the disturbed young man stood in front of her house for almost two hours. He eventually left after her family members went outside and told him to leave or they would call the police. So I guess the takeaway is either be careful of who you talk to online mm -hmm. or simply Facebook sucks. <laughs> wow, that's crazy, dude. Dude, it's like right out there, man. He was like, yo, I'm here. What? Susan's Courtside Cafe in Kissimmee, Florida was originally built in 1912. And over most of the last 100 years, the building was actually a small home for many families and individuals. Locals believe that the building the cafe is in is haunted by the spirits of its former residents. Workers at the cafe say that they often hear unexplained noises while working late at night, and both the staff and visitors claim to have seen bizarre shadow figures throughout the restaurant. Nuke's top five viewer, Valerie Ann, says that she went on a Halloween ghost tour in Kissimmee that stopped at the allegedly haunted Susan's Courtside Cafe, and it seems that the rumors of paranormal activity might be true. Valerie caught this strange footage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and they said that they had closed I just saw something them. walk by. They heard it open and then really? It's really oh, hard. Did you see, see it? it? It's a little hard to make out, but a dark figure seems to quickly oh, pass okay. through the cafe dining room before just disappearing. Mm. Someone in the tour group mentions it, but Valerie Ann is shocked when she discovers that she actually caught the apparition yeah, on camera. It. She says mm -hmm. that she has no idea who or what this mysterious figure could be. She's wandering, but man. What do you think? Mm. The home man. of the djinn. One of the OG Saudi door kicking ghost hunters that I first featured on this channel, Adventurer Allah, is back with an all new YouTube channel. In this live stream, Allah goes to investigate a large abandoned building that is said to be haunted by an evil presence or djinn. As he broadcasts his exploration live, things take a terrifying turn. Hey, Jamaa. I see an Amma and Shufa on the tool, on the tool, on the khas. Bismillah. Bismillah. Allahu Akbar. to abandoned places right now. Let's see what we're find. Oh okay, that's... That's really hard to flip, you know? I really doubt he did that. Even though there's no power in the building, the ceiling fan begins to rotate on its own. Oh. And a heavy table falls over right behind Allah. Freaked out, he runs away, retreating to a different section of the large building. Mm. But little does Allah know, things are about to get even creepier. Man, that's... what is that? Huh. Hasbi Allah! Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayu al-qayyum. La ta'khuduhu sinatun wa la nawm. Lahu maa fi al-samawati wa maa fi al-ard. 
وزع من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يؤود حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم Somebody there. I wonder what's that blur. Mm, something's following you. There's magic Akbar. There's some there's definitely somebody there. No cap, man. في أحد؟ في أحد في المكان؟ بسم الله حسبي الله ونعم الوكيل فيكم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسي السماوات والأرض A terrifying dark mist-like figure can be seen in a doorway and a pair of crutches aggressively flies across the room right in front of the terrified explorer. He investigates the area, but nothing there. Mm. The mysterious dark mist has simply disappeared. disappeared but like it's that. not over yet. <laughs> Wow. I have no words, man. It's just crazy, bro. The crutch just flew across the room. Oh, this is by himself, too, man. You know, he's really brave. Really brave, man. Being by yourself. A plate falls off a table on its own, then another ceiling fan begins to rotate, and a large heavy closet moves as if pushed by some powerful unseen force. Did he leave? Something is thrown at Allah, injuring his foot. And after that, he's had about enough. Allah decides to just get out of there oh. and ends his live stream. So did adventurer Allah capture a real haunting by a terrifying djinn? Oh, wow. Or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? I doubt it's a hoax, man. You decide. Plus, this guy's literally doing Return it. Return to the Red Listen, House. That guy is literally doing it at, during live stream. It's really, you know, if somebody's going to put up like a hoax, fake, that's super, super difficult to do, and plus, that doesn't look fake to me. It looks really real. That looks crazy, insanely real to me, personally, you know? But, dude, man, this dude's all by himself in the haunted... Uh, no, it's in an abandoned place. That's crazy, man. Paranormal investigator Kevin Barranco from the YouTube channel That's Archivo crazy. Extinto returns to explore the historic La Casa Colorada, or the Red House, in Guadalajara, Mexico. The house was built in 1923, and it is said that the remote and secluded location became a place where cults performed dark rituals. Those brave enough to explore the old house claim to have seen witches, demons, and even the skeletal female figure of Santa Muerte, a Mexican saint who is said to wear a long cloak and be the personification of death itself. Now, two months ago, I featured Kevin's first visit to the Red House years ago. While exploring the house with his friends, the group captured something that they simply couldn't explain. 
que por todas, por todas las paredes hay, hay frases, no sé, quizás unas por vandalismo, otras por sectas, la verdad es que no desconocemos el significado y la verdad es que no, no queremos saber sobre ello. Aquí hace mucho frío, ¿eh? Sí, hace I bastante. No there. Aquí hace mucho frío, ¿eh? Uh, sí, hace bastante. Uh, ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? Hace mucho frío, ¿eh? Somebody, mm. there's somebody hace there. Hace bastante. Cut to two years later. After many requests from his fans, paranormal investigator Kevin returns to the quote, Red House, in hopes of capturing even more paranormal evidence. Ooh, But no, this time, no. he decides to go back all alone. As you might guess, leave, it did not Just go leave. well. Kevin sets up several static cameras around the house, then he lights three candles and starts to ask questions to who or whatever might be haunting the abandoned home. You are Kevin insane. is using an English spirit box app and translates the responses to Spanish. Before long, very strange things start to happen. This guy is insanely brave. I don't know how people just be by themselves, you know? I, uh... Scarlet. 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 Podrías hacerme daño? Throw. 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 No sé qué es throw. Lo voy a buscar. Lanzar. Ay, cabrón. As Kevin repeats the word throw in Spanish, a heavy piece of rubble is seemingly thrown off the edge of a large hole in the wall. Kevin grabs his camera and walks through the building in search of anything paranormal. Was that? Was that somebody standing there? Somebody's close by or a ghost or somebody. Dang, it's really dark outside too. Yikes. <sighs> We're having some something's gonna show up. Make a silos. Nah, uh, he just Make ran out of light. Or that thing. What is that? That stick was the ghost there, hunter's right? light begins to fail. Then he hears a noise and turns. Without knowing it at the time, he captures something strange in the darkness, quickly darting out of sight. Right there, Soon yeah, after, sorry. Kevin's camera begins to malfunction and things take an even more terrifying turn. My camera is trapped. And vean, vean, vean esto. My camera is trapped. It's frozen at that same. Oh shoot, it got frozen. Está trabada. It got frozen when that thing showed up. Se trabó. Está completamente trabada, vean. Lo voy a apagar. No. Be turned off. What happened? Ven. Ahí se apagó, pero sigue trabada. <clears throat> It's malfunction. See his paranormal activity. They they Me quieres up. hacer daño? They messed up with your gadgets and all that. Voy a cambiarla. Voy a sacarle la pila. Ya. Yeah. 
There's somebody there. I, I have a feeling there's somebody in here, right there. I don't know why. I just, I just have a feeling there's somebody in there. There's something in there, man. This guy's just... And how did he not see that? Is he like a ghost that he cannot see? Kevin's camera completely locks up, and as he changes the battery, a wailing moan can be heard, followed by the mysterious voice of a woman. Yeah. He goes to investigate and captures what appears to be the same mysterious cloaked figure that the Archivo Extinto team captured just two years earlier. Oh. Kevin searches the building and the grounds, but he doesn't find anyone or anything. You're when so his equipment weird. continues to malfunction repeatedly, he decides he's had enough. He packs up and just gets out of there. So could it be that Kevin captured the apparition of Santa Muerte, the cloaked lady of death? Let me know. What you think? Exactly. A, a you can cloak. watch this full three-part investigation yeah, over on the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto. Uh, yeah, yeah, Thanks yeah. for watching. Please follow me on the Instagram here, and on the Twitter here, and even on the, the TikTok. Hopefully, I'll see you next week. Listen, you guys. That cloak over there. The cloak that he showed. There's definitely somebody there. No cap. No lie. I'm not lying, you guys. There's definitely somebody there. I have a feeling like there's actually just somebody in there in that building. I don't know why. I just have a feeling. But, dude, this dude captured it on camera. Maybe he's going to go back. I'm not too sure. But if he does, it's going to be really crazy. And it looks like he had to go through the forest first in order to get to that place. To that abandoned place, man. I cannot believe this guy just captured that dude. Oh, man. That's creepy. That, that's freaking creepy, man. But if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, you guys, man, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we're going to be doing some more reaction, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.